Hello everybody, this is SegaFan1986 and today I'm going to start playing my first uh, long play and it's Clock Tower. Um, it's a PS1 game and it's a game that I was fascinated with as a kid uh, and it's just, I personally think it's a really really bizarre game um, and we rented it uh, as a laugh when I was a kid, I remember um, we was taking the piss out of the front cover and everything and I remember Professor ba Professor ba it was me, my brother and uh, a friend Professor and, we Professor ba it. and whilst those two were laughing away at it, I kind of got really into the atmosphere, I mean even then uh, the graphics were balls you mustn't but the atmosphere like this. really pulled me in, it, it, just something He's about it was so believable, the in a yeah, stupid fucked up Black kind of way, um, <clears throat> so this is kind of a blind let's play, uh, because I kind happened. of played through it once but it was about 10, uh, maybe 15 today, years ago, so... I'm anyway, um, my emulator isn't perfect, the sound is kind of screwing up right. at the beginning of the game, uh, but so far the rest of the game works absolutely perfectly, so, okay, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Yes, Professor. So anyway, you start the game as this guy, and uh, <clears throat> he's a bit of a knob. So it's a basic point-and-click type of game, which I love. But um, hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. Right, I will be checking a lot of items to because there's kind of like a weird thing in this game. A giant pair of scissors on the desk. They are a replica of the scissors used by the man. If you don't check them twice, um, stuff doesn't happen and it's quite annoying. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying about that. So anyway, that's a replica pair of scissors that the murderer used to slash up the victims. Oh, cabinet. Hmm. What's this? There is a memo stuck between the pages. Right, hints also. I'll show you those later, but you can pause the game and go into hints, which is exactly what it is. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profile material. Basically, yeah, this guy's kind of a dick. He doesn't really care about his patients. He just wants to get the information. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. I guess it's quite late then. This place is a pain because if you don't search everything, you can't leave. A statue. It is called one of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Yeah, sorry guys, I have got to double check everything twice. It's a bit of a pain. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? Hmm. I guess that happens. Hmm. Okay. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer, it's nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. 
I wish I had a cute kid sister or a cute kid brother. Would be okay too. Stuffed animal looks like a prize won at a fair. Hmm. Typical office stuff. Harry's desk clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Scissor Man's rubber mask kind of sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. I love that. Some people certainly buy stupid things. The dialogue's a bit weird at times. Probably bad translation. Uh, translation. People. Yeah. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Isn't everything about that? Huh. Sensationalize this. Scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Hmm. Scissor man. It'd be cool if he were real. Really? Huh? Uh, um, just a joke. You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Huh. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if there really was a psycho murderer chasing us around? Oh, wait. Now there's an awful lot of choices to be made in this game, as this is your first choice here. This basically chooses who, car who you play as for the rest of the game. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. If you talk to him twice, um, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something you... Wanted to see her about? Uh, no. He's so, 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 so gloomy. He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then. But then what? Hmm. But anyway, if you talk to him twice, uh, you play as Jennifer. Uh, and if you talk to him once, you play as your other, the other girl. I can't remember her name. Helen, I think. There's kind of a weird movement with this game. It's kind of... It, even for the time, I remember when I played it, it was so basic, but the atmosphere really does suck you in. Oh, Professor! I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. You've been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her... We asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacks credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man. <laughs> scissor man. 
and whether he really exists or not. The text is really slow. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become of terror among youngsters. God, it's so slow. Yes, and that's because of trashy gossip magazines like yours have been have sensationalized the whole thing. God, what a bitch. Ouch, that hurts. Ha. Huh. Not much I can say to that, is there? Very true. What a dick. Well, let's start from the conclusion. Isn't it a fact there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd scruple. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see. But, okay, that's it. Interview is over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. I really wish you could speed that text up. He's supposed to be a young boy about ten years old. Uh, that was a waste of time talking to them. But there's so many uh, choices and decisions you can make in this game. I think there's about ten endings in all. Uh, five for each character. No idea what ending we're going for. We should see. Alright, so we've got to go back to the lab now and see if this person's turned up yet. It's a very slow moving game as well, it feels really awkwardly slow. Even back, in, back then it did. Ha, huh, Harris is back. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. Has he arrived already? Yeah, he's waiting in the therapy room. Alrighty. There's still something I need to... Yeah, see, this is the problem. You've got to... Yeah, you get this sometimes. You've really got to click on everything, sometimes multiple times. Is there something I could do for you? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Municipal Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. Okay. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Now this is a big decision. I'm pretty sure if you get Harris to show him, he dies. I can't remember. All right, let's. I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick, but I'm not. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure. Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home. This. Evening, I guess. Yeah. I like that. He automatically knows which bloke called Rick. Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's all. I should probably go to the therapy room. 
Yeah, I love the way he's just like, oh, Rick, yeah, I know Rick. He's the old man that lives in the suburbs. God, what is he wearing? Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for... How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Yeah, I'd imagine it would. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward? I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Save data. Yes, we will. Save points are fairly regular, and later on you can save it wherever you want anyway. But you can die in this game, and it's a complete bitch when you do if you haven't saved it for a long time. <coughs> haven't been home yet. Hmm. I think I'll go out for a while. Where shall we go? This is the map, obviously. You can go to anywhere that's lit up. Let's go to... Uh, let's have a look. Right, let's go to the library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head... Librarian. Oh, I tell you what, the text pisses me off. I really would be beat it up. Looks like a model city. Lego. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come here to check out a book? Or something? Mr. Sullivan. You're as cute as ever. How's Helen? Ah, uh, that sounded dodgy. She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to... Come and see? Again, sounds dodgy. It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Um, no, no, thank you. It would take a long time, I guess. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Ha! Huh. Well, drop a visit any time. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? But I'm pretty sure you got to visit all these locations. Go to the... Hmm. Let me try this. I'm trying to remember if there's an order you have to do it in. I don't think there is. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. He looks like a... I don't know. 